We're joined by Richard Archer from Hard Fi. Welcome, Richard. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, good, good. Um, golf and rock and roll, not normally something that goes together. You know, Alice Cooper is a famous one, isn't he? And uh, more and more, you sort of see a few people who sort of, who sort of play a bit. It's Neil, Neil Ronan, Young? Ronan Keating. Yeah, Ronan Keating. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Yeah, he was, uh, he was up my ass at the uh, golf day in Chiswick. <laughs> not, not to be shouted too loudly, no, really. No. How did you get into golf in the first place then? A couple of mates, you know, my best mates around, around home, at home in Staines, um, Dan and Woolsey. Woolsey actually produced, produced our first two albums. And they used to go out and were playing and they used to talk about it all the time. And I used to like really, you know, give them a hard time about it. Sort of, you know, the, the usual sort of, what's wrong with you? You should be out doing something a bit more, you know, interesting. And they sort of bullied me into going down really. And I kind of got into it like that. And then ever since then, I've kind of been just, Permanently frustrated about how I can just never seem to get any better. Come and argue with that. So, what was the moment, or was there one, when you went, "Wow, this is for me"? There is something about when you finally hit the ball properly. There's that feeling, you know, and it is kind of like a real satisfaction. And we went out and played, and I think we were just on a par three on the course near our home. And and I sort of, you know, teed off and got it with it by foot of the hole or whatever. And I was like, this is it, I've, I've done it, I've, I'm in now. Turn pro now. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's weird, every time I come and play when I haven't played for ages, I'm actually quite good. And I go, right. So I could play again, we put a curry on it, and then I'm rubbish. <laughs> One of the things that uh, very unique about golf is that you don't have an umpire. You, you are your own referee, so to speak. So it completely relies upon your own integrity. <laughs> but. To me, that's one of the kind of most appealing things about it, which is why I think it does actually uh, sort of breed a sense of honesty in people. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I haven't ever thought about it that in depth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should do. Yeah, you should do. I'll be out there. <laughs> well, what that? Freaky ah, second. <laughs> yeah. What's the worst thing about golf for you? Just the the sheer frustration of like one minute being good and the next minute just totally losing it. Do you take much notice of? Golf fashion, is that kind of appealing to you at all, the way that that's changed? That was one of the things I quite liked about the whole thing as well, the fact that you could dress up. You know, I think style's very important. I, I like to think that as long as I've got a good hat, it doesn't matter if I can't play. Yeah. You know. Richard Archer, it's been a pleasure talking about golf with you and uh, enjoying a drink. And, yeah. uh, Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Canberra one. <laughs>